spell killed street like look it's even reset everything it's even reset all my changes to my overlay so that you could see things in the game how fucking strange how strange That was weird. It's a good thing this is like a short stream, really. Because like... I'm only gonna be on for another like 20 or so minutes. What did we all say on Sunday? What was, was it Akbar that brought it up? It was probably Akbar. He was going on about it. And I was like, I don't care. Like, I don't know him. I have no interest in him. I have no interest in his stream. I've barely ever talked to the man. Like, I wish him luck. But everyone just kept on at me like, Oh my god, spell streaming! It's so exciting! And I'm like... One, I'm probably going to be asleep when he says streams, because he's Australian. Two, if he's not, then I'm probably going to be watching my own favourite streamers, or streamers that I know, or streamers that I like, like Andy or Chalk. And three, I just don't care. Just don't care. Oh, nuts growing. Our nuts getting bigger. Big nut. Lives deep in forest with a leaf on its head, it makes a flute whose song makes listeners uneasy. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Hey, Papa, how's it going? chopped off today, so... I have to care. That's what you need. I feel like a lot of people need it at the minute. My sister, I said at the beginning of the stream, my sister forgot how she used to do, or how she did my hair last time. So she did my hair more like, um, Jeff's last time. And, um, I think, I can't remember what it's called, I think it's called, like, Disjointed or something like that. And, unfortunately, this time she cut it too short, because she was like, I forgot what we were doing, so I've cut the wrong thing. So it's very short this time. But it's okay. I just don't like long hair, so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you. Thank you. I'm hoping that I can't do anything with it because I've cleaned it. When I got home, I had a shower, so it's clean. So I can't like put anything in it. I'm hoping that I can um It looks like hair. Thank you, Shaggy. Thank you. I'm hoping when it's there, uh, when in the morning when I put my hairspray in it can go like it will get I don't think it will. My hair's too fluffy. It's just there's just too much hair. It's been cut off and there's still too much hair. <laughs> there's forever too much hair. I don't think you guys understand, there's just too much hair. You didn't say thank you? Well, no. No, I didn't. Because the thing is, Pop, Pop 
Bakuza is lovely, so I say thank you to him. But, like, there's no point saying thank you to you. Because you like my hair no matter what I do with it. I could sh shave it all off and you'd still like it. I don't trust the idiot not to be over there trying to fight me, so I'm gonna go back and heal. Thanks for the 10 bits for hair. <laughs> Thank you, Shazzy. No, you wouldn't. What kind of haircut would you not like? I'll make sure I get that next time. Bits closer to Scoob. Hell yeah. I meant to chat type true. He said trust, and I was like, trust. Talk to me. Rest my poke. I could have camped. I forgot. Get all spiked upwards like an early noughties punk rocker. I could do that, I could do that. I can make that an incentive. It wouldn't spike up though, that's the problem. My hair's too picky, it just wouldn't do that at all. I knew it. That'd be sick. Tried, Sean. I've tried to do anything to make my hair look less boring than it is. Like, it's like a very Karen looking haircut like this, you know? So I've tried, it just doesn't work. Oh, look! A whooper! I should find a way to make it into a more hawk, that's what I should do. This is her favourite Pokemon! Wow. How do you know Cherry's favourite Pokemon? What kind of conversations do you guys have? be talking about my hair guys stream saying no Pokemon lives in cold water, it will leave the water to search for food when it gets cold outside. Not back. No, please.
Are we back? I don't know. Back with super low quality for some reason. My internet's fine. I'm not dropping frames in Streamlabs, apparently. Everything's fine on Streamlabs. It doesn't is a name it's not that way is it? It's EA Reagan. Streamlabs just crash on me and usually when bad things happen it's because my internet's bad not because Streamlabs just apparently doesn't want to work it's super worrying though guys I'm a little bit worried as long as it's barking right now that's fine we're back Reagan. Show pew pew things. I gave water as well. Won't Cherry or Reagan just be squirting everything? Why are they all girls? Blap blap. Whoopers ground. Uh, she'll be crushing things then. Soggy.
You know what? Let's just get into the city, shall we? Should we just get into the city? Shall we just do that? Following me. You better not be. Oh, it's Meow. Oh, it was a. <laughs> it was a Meow. It was a fucking bastard. You know what? Fuck you. I don't want to fight you. So you were a completely different Pokemon. The world area is overflowing with a special short sort of energy measured in watts. It is watts! I was right. <laughs> I know my shit, apparently. What fish are we going to get this time? I'm not sure I'm going to worry too much about Magikarp beating me. Did you see the way it's flopping? I do, I do. It's making me hungry. I just want to eat it. Cooked Magikarp. What Pokemon do you think is going to be the tastiest one? Which Pokemon would you much, you know, which one would you want to eat? Oh, well, that's my Joy-Cons deciding to do their own thing, apparently. I think you're just going to fish up Magikarp, but I'll carry on. I looked away and wasn't paying attention because of course I wasn't. <coughs> oh, bless me. The ice cream one, nice. In the anime, it was hard as rock and had no meat. Goldie? Thank you. Um. What about the cherry one? The cherry one looked nice. We like cherries. Hey there, trainer. You've just taken your first step into the world of camping. People call me the Camping King. I can help you out with all your camping needs. Remember, everyone starts out as a rookie. If you've got any questions about camping, feel free to ask me. I'm alright. What do you want? So what would you like to do? Spend my what? You've got quick balls, guys. He's got shit. You feel bad. They are kind of cute. They're pretty adorable. Would I feel bad eating one of the fruit ones? I don't know. It's weird though because they're like... They're fruit, but they're also not fruit, you know? You know what I mean? Like, sure, they're fruit, but they can attack. Like, I mean, I can throw a cherry at you in real life, but it's not going to do any harm. This cherry probably is going to bite you. Look at it. Wait a minute. Where is it? Where's my box? Where did you put the box? I think it's in your bag. Look at it there. Depends on how hard you throw it. Still not gonna bite you though. Boop. Look at this guy when I find it. Is that one? No.
Look. That's gonna take a fucking nibble out of you if you go anywhere near it. That shit. Why did I press the button? That shit. It's got you. It's gonna kill you. You don't want to wake up and see that staring at you. Look at it. It's a fucking danger. Look at it. It's just, it'll kill you. <laughs> Any food that still had its adorable face. Don't worry, Papa. I will skin the bloody cherry for you. I'll take its face off. You don't have to look at it, I promise. <laughs> That's all it took. I'll take the face off. It's fine. It's fine. You can eat it as long as the face has been taken off. Eat Pikachu. Well, it'd just be like eating guinea pig or something like that. Now, I'm fully against eating guinea pig because I have two guinea pigs. But, like, people eat guinea pigs. Hey, cutie man. We're having a lot of fun. We're taking it very slow and very chill because I've already done this game anyway. I deleted my save file to play it again. Um, but yeah, we're just having fun. We're just having fun and talking about eating Pokemon. <coughs> it would be like eating a car battery. I don't think it would be. You eat peeps by eating the eyes last. Okay. Everyone officially be worried about Punky. Here in the Gala region, I'd say it's fair to call the champion a regional hero. We're all transfixed by everything he does. Machino likes things neat and tidy. It'll brush away any dust with its tail. It didn't brush away your childhood, did it? Hey, over here! Over here! Real ways of you to make it through the wild area. It seems like you track ra ran your Pokemon ragged, though. You should pop into the Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in there. I bet you'll get a kick out of if you're a real trainer and all. I doubt it. I thought it was the fur that got the electrical build up in a Pikachu. Like, I thought, like... It was like static electricity through its fur. Wait a minute, Pikachu. Oh no, I might kill the stream trying to look up a Pikachu. Oh shit, that's not loading. Oh fuck. That wasn't a good idea. I can't look things up. Streamlabs is really fucking with my computer, apparently. Let's have a look on here. Pikachu. Pikachu! So just behead the thing. See, you can eat a Pikachu. I honestly think it would be like eating a guinea pig. It's just a rodent. It's like eating a rat. You don't know how to feel about the game? I get that. Like, I get that. I, I, this is the first Pokemon game I've completed in a while. I didn't like black and white, and I didn't finish Sun and Moon. I didn't dislike Sun and Moon, but I didn't complete it. Um, I can, but I, I, I kind of like this one. I kind of liked it, but I get why people didn't. I think like all the hate towards it was unneeded, but I can get why people find it because it's very, very simple. It's very fucking simple. Like I've barely barely not caught a pokemon that i wanted 
and it just explains everything to you constantly. Like, this is still tutorial bits, and we're in a second city, you know? But I, 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 I got to the end of it in the end. Oh, it looks like the Rotomy's rota free. Information service. It's a handy machine for trainers. You can even use one to customize your lead card. That's what we're doing. Why don't you try playing around with your lead card a bit? Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Pokemon Fire Ride, but with all the Pokemon. I tell you what I was planning on playing was the um modded one where you join Team Rocket instead. That was the game I wanted to play. I've got it somewhere on my computer. But Myrtle Silk sure is big, right? Not to worry. Sonya's here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal up your Pokemon. I don't want it. I can do this on myself. The opening ceremony, huh? I get a bit worked up when I think how exciting and moving it was to actually stand on a stadium's pitch for the first time. I've been thinking of doing a Nuzlocke on some games, but I, just, I decided not to do it with this. I think after all the stress at work, I just wanted a game that I could come and mess around in. And this was what I picked for some... I don't know why. I, I don't... I... What do we want? Background. Cogs, I like cogs. The Eevee one's cute. I like Eevees. You see, I I kind of enjoyed a lot of white. I can't remember if I had Sun or Moon, but like I enjoyed. I enjoyed it, but I never completed it. Never ever completed it. Yeah, I get like that sometimes. I like Pokemon. I think with this, it was more like the Pokemon Presents came out. And like they announced the like remakes and stuff. And I was like, I want to play Pokemon again. Let me play Pokemon. <laughs> I'll play Pokemon. That's what we'll do. That's kind of a nice one. Don't worry, Sean. I understand. Look at this. I could just go full, full Eevee. Or maybe I should have a cool, cool blue one. Yeah. should just be it. That should be my trainer card. <laughs> just a full on zoomed in picture of my face. Poggers! Basically poggers, guys. Basically poggers. Yeah, I, I think I agree with that, Kudu. Like, I think it was the beginning. And it's the beginning of this one I really struggled with when it come out as well. 
I, 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 I don't like being handheld through games as long as the last couple Pokemon games felt like you have been. So now I can, I can see that everywhere. Fucking amazing. Ah, oh, that was well worth the time. The Pokemon need to be re revived. Uh, uh, I might get some heals. You see, I've never paid any attention to any of that. I just play the game and catch Pokemon and shout a lot. That's me, as you all probably can guess. So I, I just, I just, I don't know. So if you've got a bottle bean, would you like to trade it for my Scoovid? No. Different shopkeepers sell different things. Who'd have thought when they all look so similar? I mean, they're basically twins, and they're all doing the creepy faces at me. The Rotom inside Rotimi are rather fond of the card maker. Well, I did that. That's what everyone's passport should look like. We we got Brexit so that we could pog us in our passports. If I can't have a pog in my passport, what's the, what's the, even the point of having a passport? I don't look anything like that anymore. Look at my hair. It's like, it's gone. I used to have longer hair and it's gone. But we need a pog in our passports. That's what we need. I need to stop leaning forward as well. I'm starting to look like a lurch. That, that, I know they're berries and stuff, but you know Pokemon can be berries too. You're feeding your Pokemon Pokemon. So brilliant young trainer, she's brave to wild areas. Do you remember what your goal in Motorstoke is? Yep, the gym challenge, opening ceremony. Okay. But we have one of them. They call it Charitle, I think. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow was being held at the Milton Stadium, okay? Use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? Well, later, I'm going to swing by the shops while I'm here, but don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? English people don't say K a lot. You might be right. I thought it was like a... It's a chill tool. It was one of them, wasn't it? Yeah. Hey, Asuna. I'm tubbing a chew tool with this broken one out and stuff. Right, we'll go and register and then I'm going to stop for the day because I need to get some sleeps for work. Pardon? Pardon? <laughs> I 
I'd surely never make it to the stadium without you to show me the way, partner. Even with a huge old thing like this bang in the middle of the city, I still get lost. Anna, alright. Alright. One look tells me that you've become a trainer worthy of that endorsement I gave you. And yes, I reckon you might even be ready to use this. Here, try giving this to your partner to hold. Mr. Porter. You can take that lift up to the city's upper level if you're headed for the stadium next. What? Orange dragon. What? Did we run past a dragon? What are you all on about? Oh, you are being sarcastic. Alright. Alright. Alright, I get it. I'm slow. You don't need to laugh at me. I can't help it. I'm tired. I had to walk up really steep stairs today and it killed me. I don't know. I don't know. You're not from the West Country, Sean. I have a problem with saying mate all the fucking time. I felt really bad. I called someone mate at work the other day and I was like, oh, I should, probably shouldn't be calling them mate. That's not something you should be calling people at work. Stop calling people mate at it. Thanks, Brexit. I would not let my child stand there and talk to this. You made it to Motostock Stadium. This is where the opening ceremony will be held. Everyone will be watching the opening ceremony for, for the gym challenge. My mum, your mum, the whole world. Our mums are the whole world, apparently. It's getting me a bit nervous, really. Nah, that, that, this isn't nerves. I can't speak. I'm only trembling because I'm so excited. Come on, Anne. It's time the world learned our names. Why? I don't want the world to know my name. Wait, what? Wait, it's not a formal greeting to say there or what? 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 Everyone understands what Punky said and I don't! I'm confused! I'm really confused! Mate? say mate but I don't like saying it at work like I work with a lot of older people as well you don't tend to call older people mate and I you know I get on with people I work with but I'm not friendly with them I'd be like all right mate if it was someone that I knew well but like some of the older ladies at work I don't really want to be like hey mate like one of my managers I call mate, perfectly fine. But like, I don't want to be sitting there being like, all right, mate, to Sue. You got, you got to pick who it is. When you take a look at this, the place is packed with gym challenges. Every one of these folks is another level. I call people dude too often as well at work. Let's get signed up. I just sound like a really old person trying to be hip. That's what it is. <laughs> Seriously, what a piece of work. If you're here to register for the gym challenge, I'll need to see your endorsement, please. Oh, yeah, I've got an endorsement right here. In my fancy jeans that I bought because I looked like a granny. Fancy that? This is the first time we've had a challenge endorsed by the champion. Well, now you've had two because I am as well. What? Two of you at once? I wonder what's come over Leon this year. Good Burger. I love Good Burger. That's a good movie. The two of you must be something special. I'm Hop. I'm Leon's little brother, in fact. And the next champion. Give me all signed up, would you? 
Well, well, yes, I'm trying to. If you just give me a moment. There, you two have been successfully registered as gym challengers. You can now choose your preferred number for your uniform. You'd be so kind. If you display it on the back of the uniform, you must wear it for any official match. Can't be sponsored by Ball Guy. I'm a Ball Guy. You can be a Ball Guy too. If you just use Ball Guy products. Can it just be 20? I want it just to be 20. Yeah. Please wear this challenge band at all times to identify yourself as a gym challenger. The opening ceremony for the gym challenge is to be held here tomorrow. All the trainers taking part have been booked as a, have been booked a room at the nearby Badu Drop-In. That's the league chairman for you, even booked as all hotel rooms. I'm off to check out the fancy digs. You're looking for the Badu Drop-In in the but alright, fair enough. Fucking Pokemon. Look at this old man! There are heaps of us dying out like this, but only a small number will make it to the end. He's so helpful. He can do it. I believe in him. Look at their haircuts. Their haircuts are all really cool. Fuck you. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just tired, as I keep saying. That's why I'm going to end in a second, because I just want to go to sleep. And get up again. Uh, I don't have to be up quite so early. That's why I streamed late. Even though I knew I was getting home late. Because so I was like, I've got to be up an hour later for work this week. Or, yeah, for most of this week. Except for Friday. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck my life. I woke up at 3am. You must be a challenger, Anna. If you, but do drop in. It's down this way. If you would be so kind as to follow me. Uh... Like, why can't I go and find it? No other game would, like, have a guide to show me the way to an inn down the fucking road. It's the, literally next door! Try to get some rest and build your strength for what's to come. Aren't you going to take me to my room? Because obviously I can't get up the stairs on my own without someone giving me a hand. I should have gone and looked at the clothes and seen if there were clothes that I could change into. Oh yeah, it looks like they're both like you both got yourself registered. Oh hey Sonia, what are you doing at our hotel? I'm researching the mysterious Pokemon that are said to be in the slumbering wield. I reckon if I look into some of Gal's legends, I might figure something out. Care to join me? You're here already anyway. Alright. What's this then? It's a statue of the hero who once saved the Gala region. I could run through the legend right quick if you fancy. Give me all the details. Long ago, a great black storm covered the Gala region. People called it the darkest day. The land was assaulted by gigantic Pokemon, but they were all they were defeated by a single young hero bearing a sword and a shield. This statue here is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. We still don't know, don't understand what kind of sword and shield the hero actually had, and what this black storm is supposed to be is just another mystery. Whatever it was, it blotted out the skies all across Gala. I suppose that tracks with it being called the darkest day, but still. Huh? I suppose that hero must have been about as strong as Lee then. Looks like you're gonna have to gonna have your hands full with plenty to research, though, Sonia. Black storms and swords and shields and all. You'll be alright. Heh, <laughs> thanks. I'll muddle through somehow, don't you worry. You two are staying here at the hotel tonight though, aren't you? Shouldn't you check in? Probably so. And we'll look out for you too, Sonia. If we hear anything about any hero or whatnot, we'll tell you. Nice. That's what we'll do. Come all the way out of this big city so that we could probably cheer on gym challenges. Team Meow is here to help after all. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. I'm a bird. <laughs> Basically football hooligans. Didn't we tell you, mate? 
You get in our way and you're in for a battle. Team Meow is all about helping. Helping one very special trainer win the gym challenge, that is. We want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. And now you're going to help us. Make some noise. It's like a fucking what was it? A Beavis Swaler? The stupid things they had at one of the World Cups. Yeah, a Beavis Swaler, whatever it is. Football help who against best like punks. I mean, they've got to get enough like really British things in and like the punk scene was a giant thing in England and football hooligans are very English or at least European we have some of the worst but not the worst when looking for a fight and I lost I'm so pathetic oh yeah oi give me a break here team me out get revenge for me would you Of course I've got you covered, mate. What could be better than a battle in a lovely hotel lobby? Maybe not. It's not Americans. He's the chaps. <laughs> if one of them says in it, then you can. Papa Picosa, you just need to find a show called Little Britain. And watch anything with Vicky Pollard in it. That is a charm. I must have got a bit carried away being in this swanky hotel and all. Sorry for getting in your way. They're quite polite. For hooligans, that is. Ah oh, man, the swanky, sophisticated air in here had me off my game. I couldn't keep my cool. I wasn't expecting checking in would be such a big fuss, Anna. What's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me? Don't think you can get ahead of me that easily. I need to get some training in, so I'm joining. Here, yeah, I'll even heal up your Pokemon too. Why? Why? No, you're officially a chav. If you say in it, you're a chav. Sean, I don't make the rules, but that is the rules. You're a chav. I'm Hop, one of these, this year's gym challenges, and the one who's going to be the next champion. Now let's have us a nice two on two. Someone from where? No, no. I'm aware that Welsh people love saying in it. I, I, amazingly, a lot of Welsh people live in Plymouth. <laughs> a lot of them. But for an English person, if you say in it, you're a chav. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about, we had a chav in school. And this was years ago. Like I've been out of school for like fucking a decade and a bit. But we had this chap that sat in front of us in English and no one actually understood how he got into top set English. Nobody. Like, you know, not to be mean here, but he was dumb as fuck. But, um, he turned around one day to ask for a pen from like one of the kids sat next to me. And he turned around and was like, hey wanky, give me a pen in it. And like the guy was like, I'm not gonna give you a pen. Like he just called me a wanker. I'm not gonna give you a pen. And he was like, but I'm just joking in it. And I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself if this is the English language now. He thought he was talking to guitar for a sec. I can see that. I can see that. I see that's how chav set you. You're just a chav, Sean. You you like sports too much as well. You're just a chav. I can already hear my victory coming. The only sound you'll make is a whimper of defeat. I'm not I'm not going to say that all Welsh people might be chavs. But they might be chavs. 
And this is all the Americans like, I don't know what a chav is, I don't know what they're going on about. The only thing I want to know. I'm learning. Alright, in it. <laughs> no, I, I like Welsh people. I, I I had this really weird fucking Welsh guy. He was determined to make everyone believe he was in the Welsh Mafia. And it was the most hilarious fucking thing. As we got a disappropriate number of Welsh people in Plymouth. I don't know why they come here. No, we, we don't understand them, they don't understand us. It's like this weird thing, but we all get on so well. Don't get it. Just don't get it. Closest American equivalent of Chav is trailer trash. Eh. I'd say it was punky. Basically, like, wow. Are you saying Devon is like Wales, Sean? My voice is unsure when I'm sad. I want to yell, but I'm unsure. I came to see the gym challenge opening ceremony, but this is awful. Wales to- Wow. To be fair, I have been asked by Welsh people if I'm Welsh before. And I just looked at them and like, I've lived in Plymouth my entire life. And the, you know, my family, half of my family are from Ireland. That might be where it comes from, but I've never personally been to Ireland. I don't have an accent. I'm from Plymouth. But like there was these two Welsh guys that used to come into my store all the time when I worked at the British Heart Foundation. And they were fucking convinced I was Welsh. And I was like, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Then there is also one woman who thinks I'm Scottish. And I'm like, I don't even hear an accent on me. Like I've got a West Country accent. Fair enough. But I don't hear like... Anything else from it? Guess it was a defeat I heard coming. I think I'm about to cry. What are you lot doing here? Marnie. No, no, nothing. We were just... I know you're all terribly curious about the other gym challenges, but you got to show a bit of restraint. Someone thought I was Scottish once, Sean. Yeah. I sound so fucking Scottish. Sorry about them. This is a bunch of my fans. Call themselves Team Yell and follow me around, cheering for me. I think they've let it all go to their heads a bit. Come on, you lot. Back home with you now. You could have more people who get hangry. Yeah, I love him too. They just so caught up with wanting to support me and all that. They tend to get a bit shy at you with other gym challenges. Sorry if they cause you any trouble. So you're a gym challenger too. Can you first watch it? I, I... I don't get it. I do not get it. Maybe I had to have years of speech therapy because I was deaf and I couldn't speak. Maybe it's something in some of my inflictions that just sounds Welsh. But I don't get- I've had it my whole life as well. I don't get it. But apparently according to Kudu Man, we're just Wales too, so you know. Maybe that's just what it is. Team Yale, was it? Pretty impressive that you already have a set of fans to call your own. Good evening and welcome to the Badoo Drop-In. 
You must be one of the Pokemon trainers entering the gym challenge. Yes. Or eat butt bug a boogaloo. <laughs> yes, young Miss Anna. I, I nearly said my name wrong then. I see that the league has booked a room for you. And if I might, thank you for helping us out with a sticky situation with those hooligans, are you? I hope you have a pleasant stay here with us. Sleep well. I will in a minute, trust me. Ah. Oh. I wish I hadn't gone to the beach today now. <laughs> You'll be re <laughs> fuck up the next morning. Morning. So this is it. Now my legend really begins. Watch out, Anna. I'll beat you to Motorstoke Stadium. And you're going to run off before I've got ha even have a chance to react. Fucking nerd. He's going to... He's literally going to escort me back to the bloody stadium right next door to the... Oh. No. No. Dude, like, it's next door. It might be stalking. It might be something. Are you okay, kid? You're talking about balls a lot. Like, like, are you okay? We don't need to know about your balls. Great balls! Just like some kid walking around the street going, Great balls! Great balls! Great balls. 